nutrition in animals hello children i welcome once again to our biology online class so after our pre midterm exam we are going to continue with the topic which we have already completed i had given you an assignment last week and the time given for submission was tuesday by 8 o'clock there are few students who have not completed sorry who have not submitted the assignment i won't be accepting the assignment after that you may complete it and keep it with you when something is told you must take it seriously and do it and present it or submit it at the right time you cannot take your own time and do it we had given you the assignment so that no other work was given to you so please complete the assignment keep it you need not send it to me i won't be accepting it but you must have that assignment with you in your hand you can complete and keep it with you hope this statement is very clear to you today we'll be continuing with the chapter nutrition in animals as you attend the class note down the points and please complete all the question answers and the exercises in the text today we will be learning how and where food is absorbed in our digestive tract second large intestine next we will be learning the next two nutrition that is nutrition in ruminating animals and nutrition in amoeba all these are small topics but important topics i will be explaining these topics with the help of a video digestion in humans human digestive system consists of many organs which together is called as the digestive tract or alimentary canal it starts from mouth and ends in anus the five steps of nutrition are ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection the different organs of the digestive system are mouth esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine rectum and anus the salivary glands pancreas and liver are the glands associated with the digestive tract these glands secrete digestive juices which help in converting complex food materials into simpler ones the partially digested food in the stomach is called as chyme this food from the stomach is passed to the small intestine you know small intestine is highly coiled structure the first part of the small intestine helps in digestion this almost the small intestine is almost 7.5 meters long the first part of the small intestine receives secretion from two glands that is the liver and the pancreas this you have already learned in the last class we'll just recall it liver secretes bile juice stored in the gall bladder and helps in the digestion of fat pancreatic juice breaks down proteins and carbohydrates the food passes through the small intestine and here the nutrients from the food is absorbed the intestinal juice before that the intestinal juice will break down the remaining carbohydrates into simple sugars proteins into amino acids and fats into fatty acids and glycerol so the digestion is completed by the intestinal juice secreted by the walls of the intestine then next step is absorption so from the here the food is absorbed 
or the process of absorbing the food into the blood stream is called as absorption. So the next part of the small intestine play an important role in absorption of food. So the inner wall of the small intestine has got many finger like projections which is called as villi. This villi he has lot of blood vessel the surface area this villi will increase the surface area for absorption and it is richly supplied with blood vessels. So the blood will absorb or the nutrients are absorbed into the blood and it is transported to different parts of the body which is used for growth and development. This process is called assimilation. The undigested food now passes on to the large intestine. In the large intestine the water is absorbed. So here the, all the digested food is absorbed and remaining undigested food comes to the large intestine. And what is the function of large intestine? It absorbs water. Now the rest undigested food passes on to the rectum where it is stored and then it gets collected in the rectum. Rectum is the place where undigested food is collected and it is removed through the anus. We have now finished the learning about the human digestive system. Diarrhea is a disease that is caused due to the infection in the intestinal tract by the food poisoning or indigestion. It is very common in India, particularly among children. Under severe conditions, it can be fatal. This is because of the excessive loss of water and salts from the body. Diarrhea should not be neglected. Even before a doctor is consulted, the patient should be given plenty of boiled and cooled water with a pinch of salt and sugar dissolved in it. You may be fam very familiar with this, that is oral rehydration solution. If a person is suffering from diarrhea, there may be dehydration, loss of water from the body. In order to overcome this loss of water and minerals from the body, or the minerals and water that is lost from the body, we take ORS, that is Oral Rehydration Solution. Next, we shall now recall the things that we have learned through a rhyme. Just enjoy. Everybody needs to know these elementary facts That food begins its journey through our digestive tracts In the mouth and before it travels very far It must be chewed thoroughly And mixed with saliva Do you know the general direction That food travels during the process of digestion The food becomes a bolus And if it is followed down the esophagus after it is swallowed waves of peristalsis push it right along to the stomach where you'll find acid that is strong do you know the general direction that food travels during the process of digestion after being churned in the stomach for a time It becomes a liquid that is known as chyme This is further broken down by enzymes And absorbed through the walls of the small intestine Whose surface area is greatly increased by Lots of finger-like projections called villi Do you know the general direction That food travels during the process of digestion If you travel further down the line Finally you come to the large intestine Where water and electrolytes are removed Turning what is left into solid poo 
And what began its journey as a tasty meal goes out through the anus as waste material. Now you know the general direction that food travels during the process of digestion. Now you know the general direction That food travels during the process of digestion We shall now learn how feeding and digestion take place in amoeba. Amoeba is a unicellular organism. It cannot be seen with our naked eye. It has a cell membrane, a rounded, dense nucleus and small bubble-like vacuoles. They don't have a definite shape. Let us see how it obtains food. Like any other living organism, it also shows five steps in nutrition. First one, ingestion. The method of taking food inside the body is called ingestion. When Amoeba moves in the water and when it senses food, it pushes out one or more finger-like projections which is called pseudopodia or false feet. It engulfs this food material into the body with the help of pseudopodia. After it engulfs, the food is trapped inside the food vacuole. Next step is digestion. The process of breaking down complex food into simpler ones is called digestion. Here in amoeba digestive juices are secreted into the food vacuole. With the help of the enzymes the complex food is broken into simpler ones inside the food vacuole. After it is digested the digested food is absorbed into the cytoplasm. So it diffuses into the cytoplasm and it is absorbed. This is called absorption. Next step, the absorbed food is used for energy, for growth, for maintenance and for multiplication. This process is called as assimilation. Now the undigested food materials is moved to the vacuoles and it diffuses out through the cell membrane. This is called ejection. The removal of waste materials from the body is called as ejection. Now we can learn how digestion takes place in grass eating animals. These grass eating animals are also called as ruminating animals because these animals chew the cud. They are, this ruminating animals is also called as cut chewing animals. In cut chewing animals, the stomach has four parts that is rumen, reticulum, omasum and abomasum. When these animals that is cut chewing animals graze, they cut the grass into pieces and swallow. These grasses or pieces of grass goes to the first part of the stomach that is the rumen. Partial digestion takes place here. The partially digested food in the rumen is called cud. Clear? This partially digested food, cud, moves back to the second part of the stomach that is the reticulum. And from the reticulum, by reverse action, this moves to the mouth. So when these animals are taking rest, they will chew this cud. What is cut? Partially digested food. After chewing, the chewed food is passed to the third part of the stomach, which is called as the omasum. Like any other animals, here digestion takes place by the mixing up of digestive juices. From the third part of the stomach, omasum, the food is passed to the fourth part of the stomach that is the abomasum. 
here you can see how the food is passed from the third part of the stomach to the abomasum which is the fourth part of the stomach and from here the food is passed to the next part of the digestive tract which is called the cecum okay small intestine the small intestine passes through the small intestine between the small intestine and the large intestine there is a particular part which is called as the cecum and it is here that the special bacteria will help in the digestion of cellulose present in the food the cell wall is made up of cellulose the cellulose is digested here in the cecum then it is passed on to the large intestine and then the undigested food is removed through the anus so here in the cecum the special bacteria is present there help in the digestion of cellulose these bacteria are not present in our body in our digestive tract hence we human beings cannot digest cellulose worksheet you have to write these question answers in the front side of the biology note please see that you write the answers as i have given here don't write in a single paragraph write in separate paragraphs as i have given here you can divide into paragraphs and write so take a notebook and get ready to write the answers write the date first and then start what are willy what is their location and function the finger like projections on the inner walls of the small intestine is called willy the finger like projections on the inner walls of the small intestine is called willy next paragraph i am reading it dictating it for you so that you need not look in the mobile and sit whenever you have doubt you look into the mobile so it's easy for you next paragraph the willy increases the surface area for the absorption of digested food next paragraph each villus has a network of thin and small blood vessels close to its surface the surface of the willy absorbs digested food materials and are transported via the blood vessels to different organs of the body after an answer please leave a line draw a line by using a scale and pencil and then write the next answer second question name the type of carbohydrate that can be digested by ruminants and not by humans give the reasons also answer cellulose is the type of carbohydrate that can be digested by ruminants and not by humans the reason is ruminants have certain bacteria in the cecum which are capable of digesting cellulose these bacteria are not present in humans so where is the cellulose digested in the cecum where is cecum present yes between the small intestine and the large intestine question number 3 why do we get instant energy from glucose you would have seen when we are very sick we are very weak when we consult a doctor doctors will give us drip or give us glucose as drip why is glucose given answer is 
glucose is the simplest form of carbohydrate which provides energy it is an energy giving food carbohydrate hence we get instant energy from glucose question number 4 write one similarity and one difference between nutrition in amoeba and nutrition in human beings you have to write the cited in similarities and below that as a paragraph you can write both amoeba and humans are heterotrophs and nutrition involves five steps which are the five steps ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection so similarity between amoeba and human beings is that both are heterotrophs what are heterotrophs organisms which cannot prepare their own food they depend upon other organisms so amoeba and human beings both depend upon other organisms and in both organisms nutrition involves five steps which are the five steps ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection hope the answer is clear for you next side heading you can write differences under differences you can write amoeba does not have digestive system you know amoeba is a unicellular organism it is made up of one cell so digestion take place inside the food vacuole there is no digestive system where does digestion take place in amoeba inside the food vacuole how does it take place with the help of digestive enzymes that you know in humans what is the difference humans have digestive system digestion take place in different organs of the digestive system in each organ part the each little little digestion takes place and the complex food material is converted into simpler ones after writing these three question answers please take the back side of the notebook here i have clearly written read the textbook and answer to the following questions these questions i have given so that each one of you will read the textbook and find out the answers for the questions which i have asked here and you will write in the back of the biology note be very clear you have to read the textbook find the answers and write it at the back of the biology note this is for your revision part we have completed this chapter and you must become thorough with each and every point in this ch chapter it's very very important so if i give you all the question answers you won't read the textbook so these questions should be answered by you after reading the textbook even if the answers are wrong no problem whatever you have understood you write it at the back of the notebook not in front so next class when i come when is before starting the new chapter i will be giving you the answers for all these questions which i have asked you today understood so you should have written the answers for all these 10 questions i have given 10 questions here you will answer to all these questions at the back of the notebook next class when you sit for the class please take that page and check your answers when i tell the answers if it is wrong you may rewrite it if it is correct you can put a tick mark so this these 10 questions i won't be correcting you will be correcting it on your own when i tell the answers in the next biology class hope it is very clear okay first question where is bile produced second name the component of food digested by bile juice and pancreatic juice first you will write bile juice hyphen which nutrient which component of the food below that you will write pancreatic juice hyphen which component of the food it digests third question what is curd fourth what do you mean by rumination fifth what is pseudopodia list its function all these answers are directly given in the text when you if you read the textbook you can easily find out the answer you just have to copy the same into the notebook 
okay so do it sincerely and write first question write the answer for it then write the second question write the answer for it. you need, you need not copy all the questions together in the back of the notebook okay one by one you have to copy and write the answers question number 6 where and how is cellulose digested in ruminants question number 7 what is the absorbed food used for in humans question number 8 where is water absorbed in the digestive tract? Question number 9. What is the role of villi in the small intestine? Question number 10. Where and how does digestion take place in amoeba? So these 10 questions if you answer, you will be thorough with that particular topic. Hope you will do it sincerely. So complete all your work. Learn the chapter properly and if there is any doubt, you may please message to me. So as soon as you complete the notebook, I will give you a date in the school diary, parent I diary. So on that day, the particular class will send your notebooks for correction. Okay, please check the diary every day. Some messages will be there. So according to the message sent, you will send the notebook for correction. Thank you.